Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating yet daunting scenario. What if the Apophis asteroid were to hit Earth in 2029? First discovered in 2004, Apophis has been the talk of the town in the world of astronomy, and for good reason. This colossal space rock, named after the Egyptian god of chaos, has an estimated diameter of around 370 meters, which is roughly equivalent to the length of four football fields lined up end to end. Its mammoth size, coupled with its close approach to our planet, has led to many speculating and studying the potential impacts of a collision. As we delve deeper into this topic, it's important to remember that while the chances of such an event are extremely low, it presents a unique opportunity to understand the potential threats that exist within our vast universe. But what would happen if it were to collide with our planet in 2029? Apophis, named after the Egyptian god of chaos, measures approximately 370 meters or 1,214 feet in diameter. If it were to collide with Earth, the consequences could be catastrophic. Now, let's delve into the specifics of such an impact. The first thing to consider is the sheer energy that would be released upon impact. Picture this. The energy would be equivalent to more than 1 billion tons of TNT exploding all at once. That's tens of thousands of times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. This energy would be released in an instant, creating a crater over a mile wide and more than 500 feet deep. The immediate devastation would be immense. Anything within the impact zone would be obliterated in an instant buildings, trees, animals, and unfortunately, any humans in the vicinity would be wiped out. The ground would shake violently, potentially triggering earthquakes that could be felt hundreds of miles away, but the destruction wouldn't stop there. The force from the impact would send a shockwave rippling out from the impact site. This shockwave would level buildings, shatter windows, and cause severe damage even to areas far from the initial impact. If Apophis were to land in the ocean, which covers about 70% of Earth's surface, the situation would be even more dire. The impact would create a massive tsunami, sending walls of water rushing towards coastal cities. With little warning, these areas could be inundated, causing immense loss of life and property. In short, the impact of Apophis would be a global catastrophe. The immediate destruction would be followed by longer-term environmental effects that could last for years or even decades. The resulting shockwave would travel across the planet, causing further destruction and potentially triggering tsunamis if the impact occurred near a body of water. This is a stark reminder of the power of the universe and the importance of monitoring near-Earth objects. In the next segment, we'll discuss what scientists are doing to mitigate these threats and protect our planet. The aftermath would be equally dire. The impact of Apophis would be an event of such colossal magnitude that the repercussions would reverberate long after the initial collision. Imagine, if you will, the scenario that would unfurl. The shockwave from the impact, having already wrought destruction on a massive scale, would give way to a series of massive fires. These fires, fueled by the debris and devastation, would engulf the landscape in a sea of flames, a testament to the raw power of the universe. But the fires are just the beginning. The real kicker comes from the smoke and ash these fires would produce. These particles would rise and fill our atmosphere, creating a dense dark cloud that would envelop our world. This ash cloud would block out sunlight, plunging the earth into a long cold winter. Massive fires would engulf the landscape, filling the atmosphere with smoke and ash, blocking out sunlight and causing a global cooling effect. So, what can we do to prevent such a catastrophic event? It's a question that hangs heavily in the air. The good news is we're not sitting ducks. We have scientists and researchers diligently monitoring Apophis, along with other near-Earth objects. They're continually assessing potential threats and studying these celestial bodies' trajectories. These efforts are part of a broader initiative known as planetary defense. This involves not just vigilance, but also devising strategies to deflect or disrupt potentially hazardous asteroids. It might sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's very much a reality. In the grand scheme of things, the chances of Apophis colliding with Earth in 2029 are extremely low, but it stands as a stark reminder of the importance of planetary defense. By investing in technology and promoting international collaboration, we can mitigate these celestial threats and ensure the safety.